Hey everybody, in this video, I'm going to cover the steps you need to take in order to get your reviews for your Google business profile published, um, either published or republished, depending on what happened to you. If you've had reviews that disappeared, or if you have customers that are leaving reviews and tell you they leave reviews and they never show up, this video will help you get those published or republished. So the first thing you need to do, click the link from the, the description of the video, or you can go type it in up here. I'm not going to read it out. Uh, make sure you're on your right uh, Google profile that's associated with the Google business profile, either as a manager or an owner. You don't need to be an owner, but if you have access to the owner email, I would just go with that one. Um, but I have done this as a manager for clients um, through my agency profile. Um, so you don't need to be the actual owner to, to get this. Um, so here I just have this test GMB that I use. Uh, what do you need help with reviews missing? So this is just kind of like cookie cutter stuff, select reviews missing next steps. Don't bother with any of this. It doesn't help click email. You're really just filling this out. I'm not going to go through all of it. This email needs to be the email that's associated with the Google business profile, either as the manager or the owner. The phone number is your own phone number, whatever number you want them to contact you on. If Google is actually going to pick up the phone and call you, I have had them do that. So it's a possibility relationship to the business. Again, there's nothing tricky about anything that we're doing here. Uh, I work or own for an agency that represents the business. Totally fine. No idea what attachments they're looking for there. I have never attached anything. Business name, copy and paste from the Google business profile, business address. You need the address. I, I mean, you can see it's a required field. I haven't ever been in the situation where we I, where I couldn't get the address, so I haven't tested it. I think they should still be able to look it up by your business profile ID, so I'm not sure that they need the address. You could try putting in a, I'm not sure what the result would be. I know the addresses, so I put in the address. Then your business profile ID, it walks you through the steps. I'll show you here. So on your search dashboard for your, for whatever GMB it is, go to business profile settings, advanced settings, and then copy ID, come back, paste it in. Has it recently been suspended? Again, no trickery, be honest here. Um, there are a couple different scenarios. You can even put, I'm not sure, but I'm putting no. Is it an elementary school or high school? No, I wouldn't think that'll be the case. I don't think it matters what you put here. It's not like if you say, oh yeah, I have 50, but like if you really only have three hidden, it doesn't really matter. There's no benefit to it. And, and I mean, be as accurate as possible, but I don't think that matters. Are new reviews being published? So has it been three months? Um, since you've had any reviews and you know people are leaving reviews. What was the time frame? I mean, again, just read this, be honest, reviewers' names. So this isn't a required field. If you have names of people that have left reviews, go ahead and put them in. The more information you give them, the better. But the first email that they're going to send you back, and I'll show you this in a second, is going to be a, a canned response. It's going to be useless information, uh, and it's not going to fix your problem. So... I haven't been putting anything there. I wait until they respond with the email. And then if I have screenshots, I'll submit the screenshot, um, describe the issue. I have customers. I don't want to type this out. I have customers that are leaving reviews and they're not showing up. Um, you, you know, and this has happened with more than just a few. I've also talked I mean, you can, you know, more detail say like, I've also talked to other businesses and they let me know that they reached out to Google support and they were able to get reviews published after submitting this ticket. So I just, I would like to do the same thing. If you're an agency and you've already gone through the first one, the first one might be the hardest, but then you can reference the case ID of your other clients that you've done this with and say, Hey, it's the same issue as in this case ID. So just go look up whatever you guys did for that, do the same thing for this one. Um, and then you might, you know, you can get away with probably explaining less. Now I'm not going to submit this because I don't actually need to do it, but I do want to show you what the email looks like. So this is the first email that you get back. It's just a canned email, uh, nothing of value here. This is where you respond and you can start to get somewhere. So you respond to this, you just say, Hey, this doesn't fix any of my issues that it's not the case with any of these what's happening and, and just kind of explain it again. 
um, you know, reviews aren't showing up or I had all my reviews wiped out. My profile wasn't suspended. I don't know what's going on. Don't act like you know what the solution is. Just be like, why aren't these showing up? I know that there's there. Can you, can you help me? This doesn't make sense. Um, so that's, I mean, there's really no trick to it. Just be honest and, and tell them that you don't know what's going on. Cause we really don't know what's going on. So it's not even like a lie or anything. You're not playing dumb. We have no idea why Google does it, and it's super annoying. Um, but that's it. Uh, I've had most of these with resolved within seven days of responding to this email. So not from when you originally do the ticket, but whenever you respond to this and give them a little more detail and say, no, this wasn't it. You have to look. Uh, and then support, you know, screenshot. This is where you can give them screenshots if you have them. Hey, you know, there's this and this and this. They sent me screenshots. You don't need it, but if you have it, I would say that's better. And then if you really want to be persistent, I haven't actually done this, but I know other people have, you can email them again and again and say, hey, I just wanted to follow up on this case. Um, but I, I haven't done it, and all of mine have been within seven days. So, uh, yeah, that should be it. If you have any questions, post a comment. Uh, if you like this, I'm going to try and start posting more comment or content on my channel for different SEO website related things. Um, so go ahead and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.